Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come, to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. 
Let's read together Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent, for the will command for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will trend on the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the serpent will trample under foot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Colossians. Chapter 1, verses 24 to 29. I am now rejoicing in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am completing what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body, that is, the church. I became its servant according to God's commission that has given to me for you to make the word of God fully known, the mystery that has been hidden throughout the ages and generations but has now been revealed to his saints. To them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of his mystery, which is Christ in you, and hope of glory. It is he whom we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone in, his, in all wisdom, so that we may be present, everyone mature in Christ. For this I toil and struggle with all the energy that he powerfully inspires within me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. Then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor had respect for people. In that city there was a widow who kept coming to him and saying, Grant me justice against my opponent. For a while he refused, but later he said to himself, Though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice, so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God grant justice to his chosen ones who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them. And yet, when the Son of Man comes, he will, find, will he find faith on earth? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Josephine Margaret Bakita was born in Ogulsa, in the Dar Darfur region of southern Sudan, at the age of seven. She was kidnapped and sold into slavery. The girl was so traumatized by the experience that she was unable to remember her name. Bakhita means fortunate one, a name given her by the same slave raiders that forcibly removed her from her family and village. Even as a child, she said that she had experienced God in her heart, without ever having been evangelized. She said, Seeing the sun, the moon, and the stars, I said to myself, Who could be the master of these beautiful things? And I felt a great desire to see him, to know him, and to pay him homage. Although technically illegal, the entire Sudan region in the late 19th century was a raiding ground for various groups of armed slave traders, Enslaved for 12 years, she endured untold hardship and suffering. She was resold several times. Finally, in 1883, to the Italian consul in Khartoum, Sudan, after he gave her to his friend Augusto Micheli, she went with him and his family to Italy, where she worked as a nanny for their young daughter, Mimina. A Accompanying the girl to Venice's Institute of the Catacombs, Josephine found herself drawn to Christianity. She was, she was baptized as Josephine in 1890. The hardships in her life meant that Josephine did not easily express her joy, but she often expressed the joy she experienced through Christ at the font where she was baptized, kissing it and saying, Here I became one of the daughters of God. Josephine entered religious life in 1896 as a Genosian daughter of charity. In 1902, she went to the city of Chico, north of Verona, where she served her religious community. She soon became well-loved by the children attending the sister's school and by the local citizens. By the end of her life, Josephine was renowned across Italy for her loving spiritual wisdom. Josephine knew the reality of being a slave, an immigrant, and a spiritual seeker. Even today, countless children, women, and men continue to be victimized and trafficked into slavery. 
Josephine serves as an inspiration to those who work to free girls and women from oppression and violence and to return them to their dignity in the full exercise of their rights. Not only is she a model of resistance, Josephine also reminds us of our obligation to strive against the evil and injustice of human trafficking and upholding the dignity of every human person. Amen. O God of love, who delivered your servant Josephine Margaret Baquita from the bondage of slavery to the true freedom of your service, grant to the wounded your healing grace in mind, body, and spirit, and to your church the zeal to combat exploitation and slavery in all its forms, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us profess our faith as it is summarized in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Set us free, O God, from the bondage of our sins, and give us the liberty that is abundant life, which you have made known to us in your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the, f from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Jesus Christ. Give, te give rest to the weary, bless the dying, and soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. <laughs>
us pray for our own needs and those of others. O God, in the course of this busy life, give us times of refreshment and peace, and grant that we may use our leisure to rebuild our bodies and renew our minds, that our spirits may be open to the goodness of your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Christ, when you came among us, you proclaimed the kingdom of God in villages, towns, and lonely places. Grant that your presence and power may be known throughout this land. Have mercy upon us, all of us who live and work in rural areas, and grant that all the people of our nation may give thanks to you for the food and drink and all other bodily necessities of life. Respect those who labor to produce them and honor the land and the water from which these good things come. All this we ask in your holy name. Amen. Look with pity, O Heavenly Father, upon the people in this land who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these, our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection of the law and equal opportunities for all. And grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of this land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose loving hand hath given us all that we possess, grant us grace that we may honor thee with our substance and Remembering the account which we must one day give, may we be faithful stewards of thy bounty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to Thee, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly Thine, utterly dedicated unto Thee. And then, use us, we pray Thee, as Thou wilt, and always to Thy glory, and the welfare of Thy people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, that, but above all, for our immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, 
by giving up yourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to the Father whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. God be with you till we meet again. By his counsels guide Till we meet.